Hello everyone, my name is Paul Schlings. Let's continue the story of Science X. So what you do will you do if your plan actually works? What do you mean? Well you never told me if you like the guy or not. What kind of question is that? A sane one? I let out a long suffering sigh. I've been actually thinking of that myself. What if I don't like him once I get to know him better? But then, it always works out in manga and anime and movies and all that. You seem to be forgetting this real life. Don't spoil the magic, Warren. Also, Santa is in real. What? Eh, Santa, he's in real. What do you mean? Then who gives me presents for Christmas? I... Just kidding. Now, sometimes in clubs he gets together with his club members. He's in a club. Yeah, just like us. Except his is real, I imagine. Ours is real too, it's just not recognized by the school. Anyway, I'm going to go up to him and show him how smart I am. What club is he in? IT club. I do stuff like programming, I think. What do you know about programming? I read the Wikipedia article last night. Well, I skimmed it. I opened it. Okay. This should be fun. Attempt 6. Impress. I put on a brave face and made my way to Mount Stable where a few other people were talking. Their lunch is half forgotten. How can you forget about the lunch? What do you think, man? I reduce the complexity of the function by playing the loop. It should work faster now. And look at it after lunch. Honey said she wanted to suggest a new topic for the week. Oh, I was wondering if we could do another game week. Have you guys heard of visual novels? I have, I played a few actually, I think that's not bad. Hey, excuse me for interrupting. I was wondering if I could sit with you guys, my name's Marty. I'm Matt, and these are my friends. He introduced each one of them as I sat down, but I forget their names almost as soon as he spoke them. Are you interested in joining our club? Maybe, I'm not sure yet. The girl to Matt's right rolled her eyes. She's so right, Tommy. Well, she probably had a similar goal for joining the club. I bet she has no idea what the rest of them are talking about. Matt turned to the girl and her face changed to a spike smile. You are about to tell us something, right, Annie? Well, I was thinking we should discuss visual novels. I've been thinking of making one myself. I've been playing a lot of them lately and they don't look that hard to make. I found a nice engine and I've played with the code a little. So, Marty, do you know anything about visual novels? Oh, I play computer games sometimes, so... I've played visual one of us, you mean like those erotic games? Well, actually, actually not all of them have sexual content. Some tell, <laughs> smarty pants honey, some tell very deep stories with as little as a soundtrack and some dialogue, dialogue. Are you familiar with Python at all? Python? Isn't that kind of a snake? The whole table erupted into laughter. Yeah, programming language. But I don't know it. Do you even program at all? HTML at HTML at least? Unfortunately I do in that one. H what is that the thing that comes before a link? Is it that the thing that uh, that comes before the link? That's HTTPS. HTML is used for creating websites. Well on a basic level. Oh, uh, I think I should go. I have a class I have to get to. She definitely needs to go to Glassmore. Annie? I heard that. You know, just because I don't know some stuff that you do, that doesn't make me stupid. No, but coming here trying to act all smart when you are not sure does. I felt like crying. I got up without another word and headed for the bathroom. She's right. What was I thinking? I heard Matt say something, but I didn't turn around. I think he was saying sorry. I didn't dare look at Warren, I just looked straight ahead until I was out the cafeteria doors. I didn't feel like going to class, so I skipped instead. I ended up going to the park. I'd never been for a walk by myself, but it had a calming effect. I really did it this time. It's probably time I stopped trying to bring fantasy stories into real life. 
it's so much less trouble to just read about them than it is to recreate them. As I was walking, re I received a text from Warren. He's probably worrying about me. I should see what he wants. Why aren't you answering the phone? I talked to Matt and he explained what happened. The flowers you saw him leave for you weren't actually for you. They were for Vicky. And they weren't from Matt either. They were from a friend of his who was too shy to do it himself. It was all just a big misunderstanding. Call me, okay? What? How is that supposed to make me feel better? I'm twice a failure now. Once for making a fool of myself in front of Matt. And again for thinking he liked me. The truth hadn't made me happier at all, but I was grateful that Warren cleared the mystery at least. I wanted to call him back. I knew he was the only one who could understand me, but I felt too ashamed for what I put him through. Was it really all for nothing? Epilogue, not M. Heh. <laughs> the next day I arrived at school much earlier than usual, which for me meant I was on time. That stupid brother, I'll get him one of these days! As I entered the classroom, an excited Vicky pointed at my desk, jumping up and down. Marty, you got flowers, girl! What? Damn it, not again! Again? Has this happened before? So romantic! And where the fault is your favorite? Here for you, Vicky. Hey, eh? no, this must be for you, look! <clears throat> to a very special girl, W. <laughs> Signed M. So it's not M. You're looking at it upside down. Now <clears throat> I already moved my head around. W. Warren arrived an hour late. Uh, an hour late, missing the first class. As he appre approached, I asked the man I was reading to cover my face. Hey. Hey, it's unusual for you to be so late. Yeah, I had some stuff to do. I see. You seem very engrossed if you're reading. Yeah, I am. Why are you holding it upside down? Damn! I like to read from left to right, so I had to hold it like this. Hmm, interesting. I slammed the magazine down and looked him square in the face. Are you trying to be funny, Warren? Are you cracking jokes? Because I really don't feel like laughing. Well, you were holding it upside down. You know what I mean. I honestly don't. Yeah, you do. Wait. Oh, I'm jumping to conclusions again, aren't I? The flowers, they weren't from someone else with the initial W. They were. Why does this keep happening? Marty, calm down. Those flowers were from me. They were? And were they for me or for Vicky? For you. I heard about what happened yesterday. I tried calling you, but you wouldn't answer. I was so ashamed. I met an idiot of myself, but why? Why would you buy me flowers? Is it a joke or are you trying to make me feel better? I just felt like buying them. You deserve someone who remembers where you sit and what flowers you like. And what you like to eat. He held out a box of cupcakes. A dozen Mr. Cupcakes. You said he was your favorite. Yeah, I think Mr. Cupcake has some competition. Really? So who's your new favorite? I can't just tell you that. I have to try something first. Not more of your crazy scenarios, Marty. Let's just be like normal people for once. Go for a walk, have a drink, hold hands, all that stuff. What do you say? I just meant I wanna try I want to try a cupcake first. Eh? Oh. Guess I'm not the only one jumping to conclusions. Sorry for being such a crazy, stubborn girl. I got on my tiptoes and kissed him on the cheek. The cupcakes are great, but you're my favorite after all. Life takes us in the strangest directions sometimes. Sometimes you have to walk around the world to find that home is where you wanted to be all along. And when there are cupcakes there, it's even better. The end! So is this a happy end? I, I, I sure hope so. In the second attempt! Wrong M. Signed M. Lesson learned. Not M. Hmm.
Well then. Well, that's the only ending actually I will put on the channel, so... Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. Surely, Marty has a boyfriend now! Alright then. Uh, see you in the next game then, because this is the end for Scient X. Bye, Celavity. Bye!